this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how you guys can create really insane 3D element text inside After Effects using animated environment textures. So let's get into it. So obviously, we're going to right click new, put in our text. In this case, we're just going to put Shooter. And the font we're using is Druck Wide. I'll be leaving these fonts down below if you guys want to use the same exact ones. After that, we're going to right click new solid and we're going to name this element 3D text. Once you've added in your solid, we're gonna go up to effects and presets, and I already have it typed in, but we're gonna type in element, grab your element, put it onto the solid layer, go down to custom layers right here, custom text and mask, go down to path layer one, we're gonna click on your text layer, which is number two, so we can close that, go to scene setup, once your element loads in, this is what it'll look like. All you have to do is click on extrude right here and it'll extrude your text. And if you want your text to be nice and thick, you go down to extrusion. Extrusion? Oh, jeez. Wow. Go down to this area. Go down to bevel scale and we're going to turn this up. You can see it gets thicker, it gets thinner. In this case, we're going to go to five. Next, we're going to be adding a material to this. So we're going to go to presets. And the one I always use is inside Pro Shaders 2. If you don't have Pro Shaders 2, you can look it up. My go-to material is inside metal. And then we're going to go to clean metal clean right here. We're just going to double click on it. As you look at it, it is black because we don't have an environment on it yet. If you don't have Pro Shaders 2, you guys could just add any reflective or metal type of material to it. And you guys can get the same kind of close results. Now, this is where the fun begins because now instead of adding in an ordinary environment, which is just a PNG, now we're going to be actually adding in a video environment to our text that can make it even crazier. So in this case, we're going to be importing one from my environments v2 pack on my store if you guys really want to create insane text there are over 30 super cool animated environments inside the pack that you guys can choose from and they'll be linked down below on my store if you guys want to go check them out so scrolling through all the environments i think we're going to add in this one right here and as you can see if we play it through it is just a really cool nebula colorful environment now obviously if you guys don't buy the pack you guys can just add in any really cool overlay that you have or your animated texture all you have to do is grab it and put it into our comp all we're gonna have to do is go down to our element 3d text layer and go to effects and controls go to custom layers close that up go down to custom textures and maps and then we're on layer one we're just gonna click on the top layer which is our actual video for layer one just make sure you select the video that you want to add on it close that up go into our scene setup come into here and we're gonna click on this little drop down on our text click on our material and then we're just gonna scroll down to the textures and on environment, we're gonna click on this. Click on this little drop down arrow and now you can see it says custom layer one and this is it right here. We're gonna click on it. Inside here, you can play around with the contrast, brightness, all this fun stuff. Just for now, we're just gonna leave it as is. Click OK. Now all we have to do is just turn off our top right here. Now we're going to click on our element 3D text. And now we're going to be doing some cool settings that we can make this even cooler. We're going to go to group one. We're going to go to particle look, particle size. This is where you can change the actual size of your text. In this case, we're going to bring it up. We can actually turn off the actual 2D text layer. We're going to go down to multi object. We're going to turn that on. Close the multi object up. Go down to deform. And then we're going to go down to bend. Click on enable. On the bend direction right here, we're going to click it to 90. Now on the bend angle, this is where if we start bending it, as you can see, you get a little bit of a bendy text. I always add a little bit bend to it. It just gives it a little more depth. We're going to close that up. Now we're going to go up to particle replicator. Now we're going to go down to rotation. And on the X rotation, I always put this down into the negatives just a tad to give it a little bit more depth. Now, if you guys want to animate this text coming in, all you have to do is go down to animation engine right here. Open this, click on enable. And on the animation, if you start scrolling this, you can see that it starts doing this really cool animation. You guys can play around with the animation type inside here where this one is just uniform. So it comes in all together. And if we put a keyframe on the beginning, but we scroll this all the way to 100 and then we go ahead about one second and we put this to zero. Now, if you want to really easy ease these, I always just highlight them like F9 or easy ease and we go to our graph and inside here we're on speed graph grab these and just drag them both to the left and it'll just come in really really fast but it'll smooth out of course if it's too fast you can just grab this left one and drag it out a little bit farther but once we have the animations done now we can play around with the render settings so if we go down on render settings first thing I do is go to ambulant inclusion we're just going to toggle this on go down to intensity and if we turn this up you can see how now we have a little bit of ambient occlusion or shadows to our text giving it a little bit more of that spicy spice i like it he like it he like it
And then if we go down to samples and we put this to 256, it gives it just higher quality. Next, I always go down to output to give this a little bit better quality. If we zoom in here and then inside output, we go to multi sampling and we put this to 32. You can see how the edges get a little bit more sharper and also with the super sampling. And now if we play it back, you can see that our animated environment is now playing on our text, giving it a really, really cool look. Another thing I always play around with it inside render settings. If you go down to lighting right here, add lighting, there's a lot of lighting presets that you guys can choose from if you go to like 360 it gives it a really cool 360 lighting look in this case we're going to use basic now if you want to adjust the environment all we have to do is go to scene setup click on environment right here it'll bring this up and let's just say if we want it to be a little bit more colorful we can turn the saturation up the contrast up a little bit more to give it a little bit more contrast this is where i usually add in my favorite glow in this case i always use deep glow i always just turn the radius up turn down the exposure so if we type in edge glow you see inside the universe plugin if you have universe you can put this on and it just gives it a very subtle little bit glow around the edges if you guys want to add in a different environment it is very very simple so if we go back to our project and we right click click import and we import a different one in this case let's use the neon abstract grab it put it onto our composition go down to element 3d open up the custom texture map and let's just say on layer two we click on the layer in this case it is layer one we're just gonna click on layer one go down to scene setup and we go down to environment click on this click on this little drop down and right here you can see it pops up custom layer two bada bing bada boom turn that environment off and as you can see, now it is on our thing. Now, if we play it back, now that environment is on our text, giving it a really, really cool blue poppy look. All right, guys, so that brings us to the end of the tutorial. Hopefully, you guys have learned a couple things on how to create really cool, insane Element 3D text. If you did, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe down below. And if you guys want to see a video on how you can incorporate this onto 3D track like videos, let me know down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Oh. I used to be in broke